Hey guys, it's Andrea from the blog at Pine and Prospect Home, and it is another dark, rainy, overcast day here today. So I am standing by the window. I'm trying to get as much light as I possibly can. My kitchen is the darkest room in the house during the day because the sun hasn't made its way over to this side of our yard. So you'll have to bear with me. I also have a pot roast in the oven. So the oven's going behind me. Um, so if you can hear that noise, I apologize. And there's a fly in here too now. That's nice. That's wonderful. Okay, and now my cat is making strange noises trying to catch the fly. <sighs> my word, <laughs> this stupid fly. <sighs> and now there's a truck backing up on my street. everything that happens behind the camera that you don't really see. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of my kitchen for fall. And just like all of the other rooms in my house, uh, it's pretty simple and there's not a whole lot to show you. I just made a few quick changes in here so that when you walk into our kitchen, you know that it's fall. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. The very first thing that I did, and by the way, before I uh, get into this video. I am patting Isaiah's bottom here in my little wrap. I had a comment on my last video saying there was like a tapping sound or a clicking sound. Um, I'm wondering if it's me patting, patting the baby and I apologize for that. I'll try not to pat him as much in this video. Sometimes he starts to squirm so I just pat his little his little bottom and I forget that the mic picks that up so I apologize for that. But all right, so the very first thing that I did in my kitchen was swap out the florals, just like I did in all of the other rooms in my home. And I used those same pretty little berry stems that I got at Joanne Fabrics in their fall section. They have the prettiest colors, that cream and white and sort of rust-colored berry. And then I mixed in some leaves from my redbud tree right outside my kitchen window. And I just stuck them in the basket and in this little vase next to my sink and both of them dried beautifully. So you can see the basket above my fridge. I found that at a thrift shop. I think it was like $5. I love the color of it. It's so beautifully weathered and I just filled it with those stems and mixed in a lot of my own leaves. And that saves you a lot of money on decor because you don't need as many faux stems, you don't need to buy as many when you can kind of use stems from your own yard as decor. So I love the way they dried, I love the color of them. Um, I just think they look really pretty there above the fridge. So that was the first thing that I did. And then that new vase or pitcher, I should say, that I um, bought antique shopping. I'll link the video for you guys if you didn't catch that post. Um, I put that next to my sink and I filled it with more stems and then also a couple of uh, dried leaves as well. And I try to, whenever I'm doing arrangements, I try to stick to odd numbers. My grandma shared that with me. You'll see the little um, pottery behind me too. I also picked up antique shopping and I put those pretty berries in those stems as well right behind my uh, stove top. And I think they look really pretty. It's a nice fall pop against the subway tile and it just has that autumn feeling to me so i really loved those um, another thing of course that i did was just bring in pumpkins y you can instantly get that fall feeling by bringing pumpkins into your kitchen i love those little white baby boo pumpkins i think they're called and i have them sprinkled sort of all over the kitchen over here next to my baking section i have some i have some stacked up behind me as well which i love the way those look and then i have a couple over here as you right as you enter the kitchen and i just love those so growing up my mom always made two things in the fall she made homemade caramel corn and she made puppy chow and if you don't know what puppy chow is people call it by different names um it's like Chex cereal with peanut butter and chocolate and powdered sugar i haven't made that yet this year sadly my son Gabriel has a peanut allergy which is so sad. I know there's substitutes you can use. If you know of a great substitute uh, for puppy chow please let me know. I'd love to make that for him without the peanut butter. But I chose to make some caramel corn and 
Um, I don't talk a lot about food on here, but we try to stick to whole foods, avoid sugar when we can. Um, but sometimes you just, you know, if you're gonna make sweet treats, you have to use sugar. Uh, everything in moderation. We avoid it most of the time, but this just reminds me of growing up. My mom would always have it for us, and it was just a once a year type of thing. Kind of like making Christmas cookies <laughs> at Christmas time. I made a big batch of it, and I love the way it looks in my kitchen in a glass canister, exactly the way my mom had it out for us when we were kids. We'd come home from school, and she'd scoop up a little bowl of caramel corn for us, and it just brings back those memories, which I absolutely love. You may have noticed the copper kettle on my stove. I love the way that that looks for fall. That was my grandfather's, and I had it next to my fireplace for a long time. I love it there, too, but I just thought about keeping it on the stovetop during this fall season, and it, it's not one that I can actually use. The inside is just too damaged, which is sad because I really actually need a kettle. Um, I had to get rid of my last one and I still have not purchased a new one. So every time I have to boil water, I'm just using um, a pot, <laughs> a regular pot, whenever I make oatmeal or tea or whatever. Um, so I do, I would like to get a copper kettle. They're just kind of pricey. This one is gorgeous. It's an antique and I just keep it on my stove top whenever I'm not using the stove and I think it's so beautiful. It brings in those pretty fall colors and it ties in really well to the copper that I already have sort of happening in this space. Fall to me is all about baking. I spend a ton of time in my kitchen. I was in my kitchen all morning chopping carrots and onions and celery and potatoes for this pot roast that I have in the oven. Um, I love to bake in the fall and this is just it's really one of my favorite spaces in our home and I don't like to keep the counters too cluttered up with things. Um, I really try to put things on the counters that I actually use, that I'm going to be using for baking, that I, you know, that I'm going to be using for cooking. And so that's kind of the rule I go by, but I told you guys this kitchen was very simple, but I hope you all enjoyed my fall kitchen today. And um, if you haven't already checked it out, I have my fall dining room and my fall living room up on my channel, so I'll be sure to link those for you in the blog post. And if you have any questions about anything that you see in my videos or links that you're looking for, I always link them in the blog post. Sometimes I have comments saying um, you don't see the link and truth be told I should take the time and leave all of the links here on YouTube but since I always write a blog post with photographs that coincide with my videos I just do it there it's easier for me um, but I'm being a little bit lazy I should copy and paste all of those links for you here as well for those that don't want to head to the blog but um, if you'll bear with me and show me a little bit of grace right now, you can head over there for any links that you have. Leave a comment on my blog. I'll probably be more likely to see that if you have a question about something and you can't find a link for it. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.